Hey y'all, happy, I'm gonna say happy new year. It is March 2nd. And the reason why I'm saying happy new year is because I feel like the first video that I gave y'all, like it was the new year, but listen, January, February, it wasn't the year for me at all. I will talk about it a little bit later, but it was not the year for me. I have a few things planned today, so I wanted to bring you guys along with me. Zoe gets out of school early today. Um, she gets out at 11.15, so we'll go pick her up. Then we are going to to go to the beauty supply store and then we're going to go to Ulta. I have to do her hair today. Um, she is getting knotless braids and I'm going to try and do them in her hair today. Um, I'm not going to film that portion but we going to film the come along with me thing. Alright. I need to charge my cameras. Alright y'all. So I am on my way to go get Zoe now. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm sitting here trying to think how I want to play this out. If I do want to go to Ulta because I do have to do her hair and it will probably take me some time to do her hair. So I probably won't go to Ulta. But I'm trying to get some footage. Like, I really need footage. I want to get back into vlogging. So I need footage. And then, um, if I'm not mistaken, the beauty supply store that we go to, I'm not able to film in there. Um, so I need footage maybe i'll just you know what i'll add to my footage i'm not gonna go to ulta because what i need i definitely can get like the weekend i'm off the weekend um so i can um incorporate me washing and blow drying zoe's hair so that's what we'll do okay so we'll go pick up zoe we'll go to the beauty supply store and then we will do zoe's hair sound like a great plan cool on it i I'm trying to think if i want some coffee but I feel like if I get coffee, I'm going to be up all night and I have to go to work early. Which reminds me, I have to email my manager back because I need to change my schedule to... Now, I have two jobs, if you guys don't know. So, I basically do at the beginning of the week one job and then the end of the week I have another job but I'm going to pick up an extra day and have a shorter shift um shorter shifts so I'll be working 8 30 to 6 30 probably um that way yeah so 8 30 to 6 30 um instead of 6 a.m to 6 p.m because i want to have that time with my child to take her to school every morning um and stuff like that uh i do feel like my daughter is at an age where um she just wants to be more in tune with me and because I'm always at work, it's, it's, I'm not going to say jeopardizing, but it's really affecting a lot. Um, I'm always super tired. So I, when I come home, I just like, oh, okay. Like I have to be a mom, 
um like she wants to tell me about her day and i'm like falling asleep while she's telling me about her day or i'm just like please just go to your room like so i don't want to i feel like the less hours would be better um i have more time to um yeah just less hours um out of the day and i'm not waking up super duper early because if you guys um remember a couple vlogs back i wake up at 4 a.m meditate um get my life together and then i get dressed for work and i leave out around like 5 15 to 5 30. so i really just need to change things up and i don't plan on being at this job much longer once i finish my real estate anyway um and then i feel like i'll have that financial freedom and that you know more free time for my kid and my godchild um i definitely and pushing to have my godchild more i was going to get her today but i have to do zoe's hair so that's that but i definitely have to message my manager like email my manager back because she emailed me yesterday um so yeah i'm going to and I'll see you guys when I get back to, well, when I get to Zoe's school. All right, y'all. So I picked up Zoe. Say hi. Hi. Um, we're going to go to the bead supply store, Zoe. Why? And get you beads for your braids. I don't want beads. Yes. No. You're getting beads. No. Yes. No. Cause they don't look right without them. I mean, they don't look right. Yeah, without them. What? Yeah. And then Yaya wants you to call her. So. What? I'm not sure. Uh, tell me. I don't know. I don't even know you're acting suspicious right now. I'm not acting suspicious. You are. Why am I gonna have suspicious face? I yeah. Hello. Zoe. Yes. Yeah. Never mind, I already ate it. What was it though? You a Kit Kat. Chocolate. You got that the Kit Kat in here, but I was hungry, so I already ate it. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Huh? Is this making sense? Hey. How was school today? Good. I said, how was school today? I said good. She said good. Uh -huh. What y'all about to do? I gotta do her Okay. Zoe's. Uh, She's not doing it. It's gonna look long because she got she ordered longer hair. What? Yeah, she ordered longer hair. Oh, that was awkward. I don't know why she ate your kick cat. <sighs> So I got our food. I got <coughs> Zoe's beads that we need for her hair. Yeah, I'm so excited. I don't know, like, so, and I got us some food. I got us a chicken box. So I don't know what other people call chicken box, like in different states and stuff like that. I don't know if y'all call it chicken box, but here. Um, in Baltimore, it's literally a chicken box. It's a box 
of chicken and fries and you can get salt pepper ketchup you can get salt pepper um it's whatever you know you want daughter just got salt and pepper i got salt pepper ketchup on mine so um we're gonna go in the house and eat we're gonna eat and then we're gonna wash our hair wash no and then i have to go to the bank because my grandmother lended me some money a couple weeks back and I gotta give I gotta pay her back. So I have to hurry up and get to the bank before five o'clock. So they told me on YouTube if I do my daughter's hair, it's gonna take me five hours. It is almost twelve o'clock. I'm hoping it don't take five hours to do her hair because ain't nobody got time for that. That's a long time. Um, when I used to put my hair in Mar when I used to put my hair in Marley Twist, it used to take me six hours to do my own hair. So, if I'm doing somebody else's, like if I'm doing Zoe's hair, it shouldn't take that long. Um, I know when I did full locks on somebody else, it took about mm, like four hours. Um, but of course, like full locks, you gotta do the whole process of plaiting the hair first and then adding the other hair. So, we'll see how this process goes. Um, but I'm starving. This food smells good. Now, this place that I went to is called Royals. And I have never been there. I have been in Baltimore all my life. And I have not been to Royals. So, I always, when I would go to this place, it's called The Village. When I would go to The Village, I would always go to the Lake Trout Place. Now, the Lake Trout Place got caught on fire. <gasps> So it's no longer there. So now they just have Brian's and Royals and Royal Royals, whatever. But I went to Royals for the first time, and we we gonna we gonna see how it is. I'm gonna call my friend because he like got on me for not trying Royals before. Let's see if he answered. Answer. All right, so he's not gonna answer. So I don't. I don't. It smells amazing. It doesn't smell like how the Lake Trout Place chicken box smells. So I'm like actually excited to try them. Oh my gosh, y'all! Kevin Hart is coming to DC in August, and I'm so excited. And I'm so. So y'all, I'm about to try this chicken box. Starting with the fries. You want chicken fillet sauce? Okay. I mean, I actually did you want ketchup, you said no. I know, but I like the ketchup a little better. I'm gonna do it over here. Ow. All right, I'm gonna try the chicken. Wow, bro. It's so good. Bruh. What? Where have I been all my life? In Baltimore. Apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> okay. Mm. Cause this chicken. Yay, Miss Abishar is finally. This chicken right here. I know you're joking. This chicken right here, nigga. Mmm. 
good. Then gotta wash it down with some mm -hmm. good pineapple juice. Let me tell y'all. I'll explain it in another vlog. I'll go into depth about it. Reason why I said at the beginning of this vlog, like March is my new year. My appetite has not been the best. So I could be starving, but whatever it is that I cook or order, or anything of that nature, like, I will literally take two bites out of it and call it a day. And I'm like, full. Um, again, I will explain in depth in another vlog on why I haven't been eating. Um, I wasn't always the biggest person. My heaviest is 140. Um, and to be honest, like, the extra two pounds was probably like water weight, but so like 138. But no, seriously, like I weighed myself on the scale. My heaviest was 140. I'm down now to 120. I lost 20 pounds in the matter of weeks. Um, again, I'll explain it later in a different vlog, probably my next vlog. Um, but food just has not been on my side, which is crazy because I am highly food. Mo <coughs> <coughs> Corona? Is that you? I am highly food motivated. Like, I love food. Um, but since the end of December, that has not been the case. Um, so yeah, I'm done eating, waiting for Zoe to finish eating so we can start this hair process because it's a lot. All right, so change of plans. I am, we just finished eating. I'm going to go to the bank first and then I'm going to come back, wash Zoe's hair and do her hair because. Yeah, that just makes more sense because then I'll be rushing and on crunch time and ain't nobody got time for that. And the cat, I didn't let you guys know we have a kitten. Him bad self. Him bad. He play, he be playing with stuff. Come here. You know what it was. I know. This is Morty. Say hello. Say hello to everybody. You wanna say hello? So, <clears throat> this is Morty. He is about 14 weeks old. We got him when he was about 7 weeks old. Um, <clears throat> I am not a cat person, actually. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really care for cats. Um, I got into vet med and still didn't care for cats. I was very, like pick and choose on what cats I wanted to deal with. Um, and then my second job that I did get, um, we see a lot of aggressive cats. So when Zoe's dad said that he was getting a cat, I was like, okay, he's gonna become attached to me anyway. So let me get used to it. And sure enough, he was attached to me at the hip for weeks. Now he's attached to Zoe. Um, but I think it's because Zoe um, is now hands-on with him. So she feeds him and things like that. So I think that's why he's like starting to get attached to her. He'll sleep in her bed, all that good jazz. Um, but yeah, I need to hurry up so we can go to the bank. Come on, hurry up, put your shoes. Your socks on correctly. They're inside out. This one. Yes. 
So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get back. Cause All right, so we actually had to make a pit stop. I am hosting a baby shower in May. Um, and we have to, I think it's that one. Um, I am getting um, like areas, finding areas to have the baby shower. She wants to have it at a park um, or like a big backyard or something of that nature. But I'm trying to find it for her. Um, she wants like a grassy area. But they told me that I could still come and take a look. So I'm about to video her really cool. Send her a video really quickly. Okay, so I am at Centennial. They did tell me on the phone that they was doing renovations to the pavilion. So this is the one pavilion and it's by like playground. Um, as far as like a grassy area, let me see. Of course the grass will look better when it's warm outside. But you got that volleyball thing. Damn. And it's like a hill kinda. It's not even. But this is yeah, so this is Centennial. And then that's your pavilion up there. Unless um you wanna set up like how you want to inside of the pavilion and just move the tables out the way. You can always do it like that too. But yeah, just let me know what you think about this. And the other place, they said I can't come to look at it until Saturday. Don't want out Glen Bernie. Come on, Stank. So, yeah, I had to look at that pavilion. Um, they are renovating. So, I love Centennial Park. It'll be very nice and warm outside. Um, so, back to the park. Yeah, that's why I was calling you because I wanted to tell you that I finally went. And when I tell you, that was the best chicken box I had in my 30 years of living. Jesus. You said what? You're pitiful. I'm pitiful? Listen. That first, okay, so the fries. Do you remember when Banneker used to like, at football games, used to fry, like make french fries? Yeah. Brought back memories. I was like, oh my god, these fries are bomb. Then I was like, let me take a bite of this chicken though. Take a bite of the chicken, bruh. I tore that chicken box up. Now, my appetite has been off to the point like I haven't really been eating. Like, if I order something, like, I'll probably just take two bites of it and call it a day. But I tore that whole chicken box up. Now I feel like I belong in Baltimore. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so serious. And I'm just like, was I sheltered? Like, why have I never been there? You said what? <laughs> you said what? I don't know what's wrong with you. And the crazy thing is, like I've all, like I said, I always went to the Lake Trout place. Like I never went to Brian's. I never went to Royal. Like I just went to the Lake Trout place that was there that got burnt down. And then when it got burnt down, I just never went back to the village unless I had to go to the beauty supply store. And I went today 
And I feel like I made the best decision of my life. Happy New Year. <laughs> that, that's what it is. It's Honey. a a whole new year. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, ready to get braided? Alright y'all, so I forgot to add in the um oh, we'll get the scissors I have forgot to add in the part where I wash, washed her hair um but it is a task doing my child's hair. Like, oh, it's a task. So right now, I'm about to get set up so I can braid her hair. I'm doing some knotless braids. I'm gonna get her all set up right here. Zoe's hair um this is pretty much what it will look like when it's done the beads at the end um but I am going to finish because I am tired um I hope you guys like this vlog it was very short not really much to do but yeah I will see you guys in my next vlog see you guys Bye, peace.